If you have replaced your brake light bulb and the brake light still does not illuminate with the brakes applied, then this video is for you. The first thing that you're going to want to do is use a Phillips head screwdriver and remove the two screws that hold in the lamp assembly. They're located on the inside of the tailgate as you can see in the video. With those two removed, we will be able to remove the assembly and then remove the light bulb carrier to check the contacts between the light bulb carrier and the light bulb assembly. Sometimes you get a poor connection due to grime or the tabs have been bent. In this case, the tabs were bent. At this point, you can turn the carrier to the left and remove the bulb. A flathead screwdriver makes the job much easier. Here is an image of the three tabs that we were just referring to. One, two. And again, you can see the three tabs in the carrier with the bulb installed. You should now be inspecting the light assembly to make sure that there is no corrosion on the carrier or on the light assembly. This will stop either lights from being able to illuminate. Clean the surface one more time to make sure that there is no corrosion. Using a flathead screwdriver or your fingers, you can pry and bend the tabs to make sure that there is a good connection. Be very careful, they are delicate and you do not want to damage them. That will result in having to purchase a new light housing assembly. To properly install the carrier, just make sure you clock it properly. It can only go in one way. Once it's in place, click it in to the right and you should be good to go. While reinstalling the light assembly, make sure to put the guide in, which is on the outside, not shown in this video. Here's a quick photo. Now you can reinstall the two screws that were holding the light assembly in place. You should verify that your tail light and brake light are both illuminating using a mirror or your friend to help you. All that was used to do this repair was a known good light bulb and a Phillips head screwdriver and a flathead screwdriver. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.